All right, so this drill right here, um, I, obviously I scattered all these pucks around here. And I want Lexi to make sure that she doesn't get set too early. I can literally grab any puck at any time and shoot any puck. I'm going to move my stick around. It's just super good. It, it gets her thinking. One thing that's super important is for kids, yes, it's unreal to work on their foundation and, and them just work on single skills like coming out of their post, tight knees, either a stick save, blocker save, glove save, belly catch. That's awesome, right? Just to build their their skills and their foundation. But at the same token, like we need these kids to think. Um, a game is thinking. So there's sometimes I always think of kids that they look awesome in drills that are controlled and they know what's going on. And, and then they get in a game and it's kind of chaos. And then well, they're confused, parents are confused, and they're like, well, he looks so good. And that's because... You need hockey IQ in a game. To be a good goaltender, you need to think the game. You need to read plays. Your mind has to be working. It's not just stationary. Step out, I make a save. Like Players can give fakes. They can send passes. There's turnovers. There's so many things. So we have to be able to read and react. And that's why I love this, Joe. So let's get her going here. All right. So, yeah, Lexi does a really good job, obviously, and she keeps this out. All right, here we go. So again, you can see I'm moving my stick around and you could see her right foot there adjust. Um, she could be out just a little bit. The one thing about this drill is, I guess depth in general. Um, a lot of people and coach, head coaches, they tell the goalies, challenge, challenge, challenge. Well, that is such a silly, such a silly term because challenge means so many things and there's a time and place to challenge. Like, this is not the drill. Like, she can be toes at the top of her paint, but this is not the drill to be in the white ice because I can change my stick at any point. And for a little goalie, that's a long way to get to if you're out that far. So you need to manage your space very, very well. The other thing with depth, just in general, this is just something that I hear all the time. Oh, he's got to be out further. And it's like, okay, there is a time and place. So let's say that there's a shooter right here Okay, one puck, one puck. There's not all these pucks, one puck. Yeah, she, she can be toes, toes in the white, half her blade at the top of her paint. Sure, grab depth. But if this is a pass low to high, like quick bang, bang play, which there are tons in hockey, her objective and her job is to make sure, one, that she gets on the angle, but two, that she has her feet set. If she's just chasing depth, She's trying to get to that exact spot, and I shoot it as she's traveling at me. Well, one, she's never going to control the rebound. If our body is not still when that shot is coming at us, we will never control a puck. And that is super, super, super important for kids. So let's say at a high level here, this puck, this puck comes low to high one-timer. I would rather the goaltender literally just get to the middle of the ice like a foot right here in the middle of their crease set and give themselves a chance to actually track the puck and save the puck rather than just worrying about their depth. One, pucks will go through us, and two, we will not control anything. And at a high level, it's not just about stopping the first puck. We have to control it because there's players that, are gonna, that do make livings just hanging around these areas, right? I always say to goalies, like, if we can draw a line always from the dot to the post and from the dot to the top of the circle on each side and then obviously a line across the top. That is the most dangerous area on the ice and like 90% of goals are scored in that area. So as a goaltender, we have to do absolutely everything we possibly can to make sure that the second chance, the rebound that we give up, if it's not in our glove or in our belly, is not hanging around in this area because even off the rush, let's talk about a three on two players coming down this side at the blue line. Say you got your, your mid lane player and your outside lane. Well, that if that mid lane player is going to drive the net that drives the D back. So one, it could either open up a pass across, but if this player just shoots it, hoping a goaltender is going to kick out a rebound, one, if it comes out here, there's going to be a player, but there's probably going to be D here. But this player is going to hang out in this area, hoping that this puck 
gets spit off the pads right here, and that is on a platter for them. And I'm telling you, head coaches, like, they plan this stuff. Like, the way that they drive the net and everything, it's, it's so it's inside these dots. So, again, I went on a little bit of a rant. But we need to do absolutely everything that we control rebounds, and they end up outside of this area always. So if it's a stick save, I have to turn it to the corner and back here, right? Even if it comes just outside here, well, this player now ha will have to move and grab it and will have time to get, get there. So that, that is so, so important. And this starts in practice because so many kids are just in the net to stop the puck and we can't. Like we have to focus on our rebound control in practice. We cannot let pucks lay around in this area that I'm talking about after it comes to us. And so many parents I hear, oh, my kids stopped the first and second one, but oh, they just banged in the third one. The D were nowhere to be seen. Well, where'd the first one go? The first one came out right in the worst area on the ice. Where'd the second one go? Oh, right out in the worst area of the ice. So that is on the goaltender to control the first puck and put it outside of this area, right? We have a shot coming here, blocker. Boom, we got to turn that so it lands outside of this area, right? And obviously, it, it looks steeper than it is right now, but you guys can, you can, when you get on the ice, you can see it's right from the dot all the way to the post. So we got to get it outside of that. If you need to lay sticks down or something in a goalie session or you're working on stuff, put sticks down so you can actually see that if you make a blocker save, it has to land over that area. It can't, same thing with our stick. It has to get right out of there instantly. It can't just go boop through that area and then end up over there. There's going to be a player hanging out in this area. So obviously I went a little bit off topic here, but I just can't stress this enough. And I see it every single day when I'm on the ice that goalies do not take that seriously. And if you ever want to play at a high level, no matter what level that is, you cannot leave pucks lay around in this area. You can't expect your D-man to just clear everything especially if you're outnumbered or if you're on the penalty kill you need to control your rebounds outside of the most dangerous area on the ice so let's let this go here so lexi does a pretty good job adjusting um she didn't get her knees together and she could have tracked that puck a lot better but again i thought she did a pretty good job staying on other feet so let's watch this one here pretty skill watch my feet pretty skill just kidding boom again like this is this can happen like, we have to keep that puck in. It goes to a good spot. It goes outside, right? You can see that dot goes outside of that. But we have to focus so much that we have to let, like, pucks have to stick to us from our tracking. Like, even there. So let's watch this. Lexi, again, she does a good job with her feet. Like, she's not getting stuck. She's doing her small adjustments. Like, let's watch this again. Like, she does an awesome job. Watch her feet not getting behind. But then again, that that is an easy glove save. Her butt comes back, watch. Boom, butt comes down, and it hits her in the cuff and spits out this way. That's a catchable puck. We have to get her butt up. We have to get her knees tight. Knees are tight, but her butt is so far back that that screws up her range. It screws up your tracking. Obviously, you can tell it hits her and goes that way, right? So if there's a player hanging around, it's probably going to go in. But again... We have to put so much focus on controlling that first puck. And if we have that mindset in practice, like it, it's going to make a huge difference. I mean, good, good recovery by her. I love it. But, okay, let's watch us here. Okay, so there. It went, it went right in that area that I'm talking about, right? Here's your post. The dot will be about right here. Let's watch that again. Watch where this puck comes. This is, this is a goal. So watch it one more time. Boom. That's a goal. That's that's inside that, that dot line. And it has to get outside of there. Again, she just didn't use her stick. Right? Her eyes are on it, which is absolutely fantastic. And she's she's following it, which again, we're not taking anything away from that. That that's awesome. But it's how do we get better? How do we get to the next level? How do we make the game easier? And we need to get a stick on that. So we get it outside of that area and not leave pucks laying around. I can't stress it enough. Again, watch this. Pretty skilled by me. Look at look at my hands here. Bang, bang. Just kidding. 
puck goes right through her. Again, look at her butt. Like, she's soaking at her hips. Okay, her butt is coming back, which opens holes through her arm. If she was sitting up over top of her hip, over top of her knees, sorry, um, she'd be able to just absorb this puck. All right, let's watch this here. Bang, she does a good job. You know what? I, I actually like this. She does an awesome job being patient here. So again, let's watch her. Her feet, like I love these small adjustments. This is unreal. She she actually was a little bit delayed on going down, but I, I muffed it at her and she read the release that she could. But this, like look at how much bigger she is here because her butt is up. Like th look at how tight this butterfly is. It's all together. This is fantastic. You can, you can compare this to the clip before where her butt was down and she was tiny. Like this, this is good goaltending right here. She's all over that puck. Same thing. Like that's a good save. She's seeing this into her chest, right? And so many goalies, like especially young goalies, they, they watch the puck like 80% of the way. Like you have to see the puck hit your body because in a game, if we don't control that rebound and it comes off of us, it's still live. The game is still live. And if I lose sight of it, it screws up my recovery and slows down my recovery, which again, I know for a fact that this comes from practice and us not tracking in, tracking off and following. It's us being lazy in practice and not following our rebounds. One, there are some drills in practice that I know are not goalie friendly and we do not have time to recover on because it's shot, 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 shot. I totally get it. I understand. But we still can see the puck in, see the puck out if we don't have that time. But I know that there's a lot of drills where we do have time and goalies do not do that. But then in a game, you do that. So again, we need to make sure that we're practicing the exact same way that we're playing games. We can't just have a switch where we think that we can just turn on. We have to do it properly all the time, especially if we want to be any good at this. So you can see exactly... She's pretty square. She's she's a touch deep here, um, for sure. Her posture is average at best, but she is deep here. You can just tell. She needs to be out another six inches at least, and we got to start filling that with and having good posture. That, get, that loses us at least a couple inches. So let's see what happens on this save. Okay, she's all over it with her eyes. Awesome. A um, couple things. As a young goalie, uh, it's really hard, especially against – coaches that have longer sticks because um it's a greater distance for us to travel to get square so um her eyes are on it awesome but her knees and butt are absolutely terrible which is why she doesn't control this rebound she has to get her knees together and keep her butt up and this would be an easy glove save because she could hinge over top of her hips and just reach she starts she starts chasing this puck with her legs which spreads her apart so let's watch. Boom. Look at where that rebound comes. It's, it's the worst area on the ice, all because of her knees and her butt. And then, just like that, it ends up in the back of your net. And I, I do that on purpose. I try to score pretty often when a bad rebound comes out like that to just prove a point that we leave pucks in that area, it's going to end up in the back of our net. And... That is the difference between like good stats and bad stats. You can clean up your stats just from not leaving pucks hang around in this area. And we have good butterfly, nose to the puck. We control it. We have our butt up. We're over top of our knees. We're seeing it in, seeing it out. Like a lot of young kids make goalie a lot harder. Let's watch this one. Okay, so again... She, she's doing good things. So let's see this here. Okay. Let's see. What, I hope she cleans up her back leg here. Yeah, see, this is awesome. Like, so boom. I, right here, let's watch this. So I, I fake a shot right here. And she's right there, and she set herself. But then as I move my stick she adjusted and, and got out of that stance, which is unreal. Like, again, to get her feet back in this position, obviously, again, we got to get out a little further. 
But, and then look at this. Goalies, we got to keep our glove up. This is a stick save, and we have to turn this and stay over top of it. At least her eyes are on it, but we have to, her butt is down a bit again. But we have to stay over top and just turn this to the corner. We can bring our glove to the ice and stop the momentum of the puck, and it spit out again in a brutal area. It's just, it's just being diligent with ourselves. And again, this starts in practice. So let's keep going here. Uh, so th this was way, if she could have got a stick on this, this would have been a perfect wrap. Okay, wind up. Right there, she's set. And then she adjusts her feet. And again, look at her tracking. Like she is on this puck. But how's her stick? She drops her hand. She lets her knees come apart and drops her butt. She was all over it, and then her legs came apart, and dropped her hand, hits her pad, and now it's still dangerous. Instead of just staying tight on this and using her stick and putting it in this area. Like these are the little details of the game if we if we want to be really good. I think I've said that a million times, but Again, it's just creating more work for ourselves. It, that was right at that dot line. Fake. She's on her inside edges. And then it's just she's too upright. She's too wide. She's trying to get her feet back together, but then she's also too upright. And then boom. Here it comes. There's a goal. I love it. Throws a stick. Tries her best. But again... We just can't leave pucks hang out in this area. And I'm going to sound like a broken record, but it's so important. Again, she does a really good job here. And I'm being picky, but again, like, I want everybody to learn from this. Okay. So she sets because I, I give her, like, a little fake sets, and then she cleans her feet up here. Boop. That's a great stance. Like, sh she's ready. But then she stands up out of it like instead of just pulling her back leg along the ice like she actually comes out of her stance and i shot it right as she was coming out like look at her look at her foot she was standing up and now now she's literally floating on the ice just kidding but now look eyes are here great that's a positive but where's our stick right she wasn't set she wasn't ready so all goalie is like Again, we don't want to be set 10 minutes before the shot. We want to be set right at the right time. But we need to be set for the shot because Lexi was not set here when I shot this puck. So which again, what happened? Look at the rebound. Bang. Right in the worst area on the ice. And again, players hang out in this area. Right? So it's just, again, it's just showing everybody. I should... I should get somebody, any volunteers want to come and just stand in the slot and bang pucks home, let us know. Great track again, but her butt is down. And again, just not putting the emphasis in her stick. At least she's seeing pucks. Like again, we, we're not just chewing her apart. And the reason that I point this stuff out is one for her, but for everybody to learn. And that's what this is about. Um, you need to be able to break your own game down and, and see what you can do better all the time. So again, but look at, she's literally making eye contact with me. Let's watch this again. Like, boom. Okay. Her head saw it here and she needs to see it here. And now her head should be facing this way. Watch, she looks at me. We can't lose sight of this puck. We have to stay on it because that gets my chest on it. It starts my rotation and speeds up my recovery at a high level. If we have a crap recovery like this, let's say we're on the penalty kill. Okay. Puck comes, goes out here, and we have this kind of recovery where we're not on the puck. Well, one, a player over here could just shoot it back at you or it could come low to high, D to D one time. It could come through a seam one time. And as you're literally just coming over here, it's already going back the other way. Like things happen so fast at a high level. Our eyes are so important. Like look at this recovery. It's just slow. Okay. So she does a pretty, like, 
I'm really impressed by with her feet. Like she's doing a good job, but again, she's not as ready as she could be. And then again, the emphasis on that that friggin' glove to the ground is gonna give me an aneurysm. I'm actually on the ice with her today, so I'm gonna be all over her about that because, as you can tell, it's it's screwed up about two or three rebounds. And then again, where's the puck go? Uh, we're lucky that it's just hanging around the crease. But again, now you're giving yourself a 50-50 battle puck if there's somebody standing right in, right in front of the net. Okay, so I hope everybody learned a lot from this video. Um, if there's anything else that you'd like to see, please let me know. We'll break it down. We'll talk on it. And uh, if you don't have the goaltender's playbook, you should check it out. There's over 230 videos of me breaking down videos and drills just like this. And we're trying to grow our community as, as much as we possibly can because goalies deserve it. They've been neglected for far too long, and uh, we're here to change that.